The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. For problem number one, <clears throat> we're asked which of the following does not represent y as a function of x. So remember that for y to be a function of x, that means that for every x value that you plug into the function, there needs to be only one y value that could possibly uh, come out from that. So let's just go through all of the uh, letters and see which one does not represent y as a function of x. <coughs> so for letter A, we have y equals negative 2. So what that means is for any x value that you plug in, the y value is negative 2. That definitely is a function because we don't have multiple y values possible for any given x. Um, for letter B, we have the function y equals x. So right there, again, no matter what you plug in for x, you get the exact same thing for y, but you only get one answer for y, which is what's important here. Again, that is a function of x. For letter C, We have x squared plus y squared equals 1. That's the equation of a circle. OK, so this one is not going to be a function of x because it's possible to have multiple y values for the same x value. Clear example here, let's just choose x equals 0. Well, if x equals 0, then we have y squared equals 1 because this would disappear. But y squared equals 1 has multiple answers. y could be 1 or negative 1. So by plugging in x equals 0, we got the points 1 or negative 1. So that is not a function. OK, and we know that's the answer, but let's just check d also. We have x, y equals 1. A good way to write that, just so that it's easier to see, is solve it for y. So we have y equals 1 over x. You can see here, anything that you plug in for x except for 0, where this would be discontinuous, you'll get a, some fraction, and that will be the answer for y. You only get one y anytime you plug in any one x. So this is the only one that gave you multiple possible y's. So that is the one that does not represent a function, and that's your answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu